Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are playing Banished. This is our uh, sixth let's play? I do not know. So in this episode we're going to establish ourselves a school uh, beside our market probably, I was thinking. And then I want to add two more areas on either side I want to put in some uh, trees not trees um, and some orchards so we're actually gonna grow some uh, fruit and then over here we have 265 firewood so I'm just gonna make sure that we have our woodcutters cutting we don't even have one woodcutter not good so basically, I'm going to set up ourselves two woodcutters. And our woodcutters are going to establish our trading. We're going to trade um, our firewood for what we need. Hopefully sheep or chickens. And we're not really low on anything. And this person over here just doesn't want to die. <laughs> She's slowly just smashing that away. That's hilarious. Look at that. No health. How about if I cancel these? Because I didn't even know that. I understood that she was uh, doing it, but. cancel anything that's on the... and maybe she'll crawl her way across the river. She could survive another day. Because she was like 22 last time. Let's see what she is now. 33. <laughs> ten, 10 years on the other side. Oh, and she just died. <laughs> died of starvation. Okay. Give a couple more builders because we have so many things to do. And I'm gonna leave the firewood for now. And someone did post, so when we do meet the max or something like this, they do automatically become a laborer and then they go back to their job when possible. So that's good. Good to know. So this is our market getting completed, and this will help deplete our uh, storage barns. We have one at 75% and another one at 93%. And basically they're going to suck them dry and move it into the marketplace. I also wanted to uh, upgrade my roads. I'm going to say stone road from here. There. So our main highway is upgraded. There we go, our market is ready. So I'm going to put uh, four people on there for now. And basically those four people will go around and gather all the stuff that we need, or they need, to uh, sell. And let's put two woodcutters on. And I'm going to fill our foresters up too. So we're at the max food for some reason. It's only 60% full. How are our things here? 79 and 68. So you go under the gear for that and then you set your limits and then you can increase everything. So we'll uh, increase everything by 200. Uh, 
uh, saving going on there. So let's uh, increase this to 10,000. And increase this to 600. And that seems about good. So there we go. So that'll keep them farming. And our uh, market is slowly coming together here. Holy, we met that 10,000 like it was nothing. So I'm just going to increase that like crazy. Say 15,000. I put that second, there's the second wood guy. Uh, let's do our orchards that I wanted to do. And we still want to do our school, plus, oh, that ain't gonna work. How about this way? Gonna have to go seven by six, because we're going up a hill. And then seven by seven there works. So all we can make is pecan right now anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And we'll go up here and do the same thing. And basically, orchards take a long time to grow, but once they are, they're good to go. And we just gotta watch those uh, for ships. Basically, I'm gonna wait for winter to be over, and then I'm going to take... Um, basically I'm going to take um, firewood and get it into here. Let's build a few more houses right here because there's going to be a lot of workers around this location. So I'm going to build two more houses there. And let's do a school. So this will slow down our population growth, but at the same time, it will uh, educate our people. So instead of coming out at 10, now they come out from anywhere from 18 to 25. And uh, that is uh, because they're getting educated and they'll actually work double. They actually work double the speed. I don't know, I'm thinking about building again out here just to uh keep going with where the stone and iron is because now we're low again so basically I'm pausing because I'm going to recover Basically, I'm going to extend the road, just a dirt road this time. I'm going to start from there. Why is it doing that weird thing? There we go. So 
So it's going around a hill, that's what it's doing, or at least trying to do. And then basically I'm going to put a stockpile over here that our guys can grab from. And then increase priority. It's probably because we used all our stone up on making our highway. So, see our stone highway. Everything moving so fast. That's good to see. We have two people. See, we need a lot more houses, I think. We're probably maxing out our area. Yeah. And we got no kids right now, so. So a merchant has arrived. Yay, six cattle. I need at least two, which is 1,600. So that means I need 400. Four times four is 16. So that's what I need, but it doesn't mean I'm going to get it, because I don't have the people right now. that building and just space about oh, oh wait. reclaim there we go and um I want housing like this not still within that area for all my people And we lost it anyways. So it looks like they come early spring, but that'll get... Yeah, see, they, they're they taking all the wood, and once it gets to 400, that'll be good to go. So we're waiting on iron. Yay, we finally got a child in a while. <laughs> uh, someone also recommended if I uh, switch everyone back to just being a laborer and then on pause, my uh, population will redistribute itself evenly. So they'll go to all the houses that are best for them. So basically we're pausing or letting it pause for a sec. And food is getting to a ridiculous proportion anyways. I might just uh shut down my uh, four string or not four string but the farmers so three and I had this down at four so there so now when we uh, go under paths we should see that everyone is going to the best possible like the shortest distance possible. Ta-da! And they're better distributed. 
more likely to have babies, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of old people. We're gonna have a lot of deaths. I'm just gonna make this the increased priority right here is the school. Get that done. We're up to three kids now. So we had uh, Let's Ritz, Estor, and Chenskello, all born in early summer. And slowly but surely we're getting our stuff And here we go. So we are maxed out firewood wise, so now all firewood will accumulate in the actual uh, system. It will actually be part of the population for everyone else's use. Yeah, I could have probably built that a little closer. Let's actually do that. So I'm going to make a stockpile just right here. a little six by two. start cutting. Well, I guess they can... No, you guys keep planning, and what I'm just gonna order is a, uh, a regular chop down. Harvest trees. No laborer provided to replace that person, which kind of sucks. And that's probably going to happen a lot because now we're going to have uh, students. So we have a 28 year old teacher, which is good. That's what you want. And this guy's nice and close to a storage too, so I don't have to upgrade him. So our food is almost maxed out, it looks like. Yep. We're only at 70%. So I could probably put a couple more vendors in there. And it would keep filling it up. What are we at here? We are at... Winter, so I'm just shutting off all our farmers because we have a surplus of food. And I'll probably just call this an episode. Thanks for coming by, guys, and see you guys next time. Bye! And as always, please feel free to like, comment, Subscribe and share guys. See you guys next time. Bye